Hello guys, this will show you my new favorite tool in Plasticity, the knife tool. And real quick guys, if you want to learn this awesome new program called Plasticity, I've got a course for you in the description, it's the first link there. And it's got a lot of awesome content, guys. it's got over 42 hours of educational content. It's got a tree cutting mechs, it's got a police robots, uh, Omega, uh, SMGs, Cyborg Ninjas, and much more. So be sure to check that out. So if you go here, activate line, default hotkey, shift A, there's a new hotkey here called K, which allows you to activate knife mode. And especially if you're used to working with polygons, this will be very uh, useful. So essentially, I uh, press K and you know, the way it works is that uh, you go in here and you uh, knife out what kind of design you want. Like so, right? And I can press Shift A and K again. And uh, let's say I want to create a nice little, uh, oops, shift, uh, shift A and then K. All right, so now I can select this and uh, I can extrude that. I, you can see I actually got rid of that. So uh, now I'll go ahead and do that. So now I'll go ahead and press K again. So this is a very fantastic way, guys, to um, get details very quickly because, you know, uh, the default method is, of course, now you got to go in here, you got to go ahead and kind of draw out a line. You got to uh, draw out that line. Then you're going to go ahead and like, uh, you know, cut, you know, use that to cut and things like that. But now you can just go ahead and skip that and just kind of cut directly on your mesh. Now, of course, there are still some situations where you creating a spline on a surface is still useful, um, especially situations where you kind of wanted to, uh, you know, hang off your design. So it can, it can still be very useful to do that. Well, in many situations now, I just find myself using uh, the knife tool and getting what I want there. All right, so some further examples. Now I can kind of uh, cut right there. You know, now I can select this and, you know, do, do an extrude right there. So just like working with polygons, it's a quick way to add detail. And then to make it more fun, you can go ahead and select this, rotate, press V to set up a custom pivot right there, for example. And now I can rotate on the Z axis to kind of get more interesting uh, extrusion results like so. Shift A, K. So definitely K opens up kind of a faster uh, freeform workflow as well. And definitely opens up the possibility uh, for a lot of really cool results. Uh, in terms of uh, design here. So uh, I can do this, for example, and then I can just kind of further continue uh, to offset this and extrude that and uh, I find it gives a, a very cool result sometimes of course you don't want to do this too often but you can kind of experiment with the depth here and with the shapes here to get really cool results combine that with knife and of course remember uh, don't start going crazy with fillets until the end
Alright guys, that's using the knife tool. Thank you for watching and take care.